This is One Sentence News, a daily podcast featuring three news stories with a sentence-long summary and one sentence of context apiece. I'm Colin Wright. It's Wednesday, February 23rd, 2022. Let's talk about the news. From Bloomberg, Nord Stream 2 is put on hold as West rebukes Putin over Ukraine. A wave of sanctions and other punishments have rolled out in the 24 hours following a public announcement by Russian President Putin that his government will recognize and support two breakaway regions in the eastern part of Ukraine, which, because Ukraine still claims those regions itself, is tantamount to war. This story is likely to dominate headlines and attention for a good long while, but what's happened the first day since this somewhat shocking, in how overt it was, announcement is Germany has put the Nord Stream 2 gas pipeline on hold, which is the first step toward cancelling it altogether, which should prove not ideal for Russia's ambitions to send more fuel to Western Europe. The U.S. has announced a slew of relatively moderate sanctions against Russian banks and oligarchs, wealthy and powerful people who run a lot of the country's institutions and companies. The U.K. has announced a series of sanctions against five Russian banks and three oligarchs who have now had their U.K.-based assets frozen, and the U.K. is home to a lot of Russian assets, so that's not nothing. And the E.U. has targeted Russian officials, bonds, and trade with the separatist entities, all of which is significant significant, but not all guns blazing significant. And the purported logic here is that these governments are trying to leave the most serious punishments on the table for if and when Russia full-on invades Ukraine, which Russia has not yet done in the most literal sense. From the Associated Press, China sanctions Raytheon and Lockheed over Taiwan deal. Raytheon and Lockheed Martin Two of the largest military contractors in the world have been sanctioned by the Chinese government, which goes to show that it's not just Western nations that use sanctions as punishments for selling missile defense system maintenance services to Taiwan. The $100 million deal at the center of this scuffle was recently approved by the U.S. government and is only the most recent instance of the U.S. helping to arm Taiwan against its very close neighbor, China, which importantly, claims Taiwan as its own, despite Taiwan claiming otherwise. Details about these sanctions haven't yet been announced, but it's a fair bet they'll be substantial enough to make a statement, as China doesn't really have anything to lose by worsening its relationship with these companies, neither of which it does business with, but does have a lot to gain from incentivizing other companies to not provide goods or services to Taiwan in the future. And from Axios, Colombia's high court decriminalizes abortion in historic decision. On Monday, the Constitutional Court of Colombia voted to decriminalize abortions performed in the first 24 weeks of pregnancy with a 5 to 4 majority. Since 2006, Colombia has had a legal exemption for abortions performed when a woman's life is in danger, when the fetus is unviable or when the pregnancy is the consequence of an officially reported sexual assault. But a series of smaller court cases, combined with rapidly shifting opinion polls and the recent decriminalization of abortion in other Latin American countries like Mexico, Argentina, and Chile, seem to have tipped the scale in favor of full decriminalization. If you're finding some value in One Sentence News, consider leaving a quick review wherever you get your podcasts and or sharing the show with a friend. You can find out more about this show or subscribe to the email version at onesentencenews.com and you can support this and other related projects like the Let's Know Things and Brain Lenses podcasts at understandery.com.